In this illustration, uh, we intend to simulate hysteresis analysis of the three-story steel plate shear wall in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the model is composed of beam, column, plate, and stiffener. In this question, first the shear wall undergoes a vertical load and then a cyclic loading is applied to the shear wall. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram gained from the Abacus software has been compared with those results obtained from the article. In this picture, the deformation of the shear wall undergoing a cyclic loading can also be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental and Numerical Study of Unstiffened Steel Plate Shear Wall Structures. In this picture, the simulated model in the Abacus software can be observed. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall can also be observed. In the next step, I click on Create Instance, enter the geometric shape of the plate into the assembly section, then rotate that 90 degrees about Y axis. In the next step, uh, I will enter the geometric shape of beam into the assembly section. Here I will enter geometric shape of middle plate into the assembly section. Here you can observe the properties of different parts. The Young modulus of the plate is equal to 200,000 megapascal. And the Poisson ratio is 0.3. Then I will click on Mechanical menu, then on Plasticity and Plastic. The yield stress is equal to 256 megapascal, and ultimate stress is equal to 378 megapascal.
In the next step, I will enter a step module. Click on create step. Here, select a linear perturbation and buckle. Here, I'll enter a number of eigenvalues requested equal to 10. 10 modes of buckle will be calculated and OK. done and close all boundary conditions. Here you can observe the modes of buckle. In the next step we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the shear wall. From here, I will click on Model menu, then copy the model and select Model 1. I will name this model hysteresis. And OK. Here, I'll click on Step Manager. Then here we should replace the buckle analysis with a dynamic implicit one. So I will click on replace, then select dynamic implicit and continue. The analysis will be done in non-linear form. Time period is equal to 96 seconds. Here I'll select quasi-static.
In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I will click on create XY data, then select ODB field output and continue. Here I will select reaction force directed at Z axis and displacement directed at Z axis. Then select this node and click on save. In the next step, I will click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data, and Continue. Here, I will select Combine, then U3 and RF3, and click on Save. Here, you can observe the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the abacus software. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. Uh, the first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. And the second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. The diagram having been drawn with red color is the diagram obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are so close to those in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated properly and correctly in the Abacus software.